mother and grandmother. Last week's gathering was amazing. No one expected so many of you to turn up, even the police. <laughs> they thought 50 to 70 people max was doing home. We certainly showed them and we showed each other. I know what it feels like to be isolated. This is a stressful time. And everyone that came last week and this evening is showing that none of us are alone. And as I said last week, stay in contact with each other. We all need the support. Nobody should deny our freedom of speech. Nobody should deny our freedom of choice. Being free is every individual's birthright. This is what we're all about. And this is why we are here today. We can't talk about colour. We can't talk about race. It's called discrimination. But when it comes to the unvaccinated, well now, that seems to be okay. The do-gooders are okay with that. The government is okay with that. But I am certainly not okay with that. None of us are. What's going on today has been planned for many years. The government worldwide changes the laws slowly, slowly. And slowly they've been tightening the noose around our necks. Like now, we are fighting for our freedom. But we must never give up this fight. It's been going on for a long time. And it will continue for many years. But we have to stay strong. We stay strong, gain knowledge. Knowledge is very powerful. And the secret of freedom? Courage. And talking of power, I'd like to thank our fellow police officers who are hiding. Yeah, I'd like to thank our police officers for being here today and looking over. And let's remember, they are all so protective. Many of them feel, feel the same as we do, but they do not have the courage to openly step forward and speak out. Because like us, they will be discriminated against. But I must remind them now to uphold the truth in their oath, to protect and serve us the people. And we the people must stand up, speak out and take action peacefully. As united we're strong and united we can win. Thank you. Love you.